Welcome to A Recipe Reborn, featuring your favorite foods from Final Fantasy XIV. Hello, my name is Lemon Drop, and I develop recipes by combining real-life culinary inspiration with the in-game recipe, description, thumbnail, geography, and lore. If you're into XIV and food, please subscribe and click the bell for a new episode every week. Today, I am so excited to be making a farmer's breakfast. You probably already know that Patch 5.2 was released this week, and with it came 10 new culinary and recipes, plus a tabletop meal, and this is one of them. This dish is based on a real-life recipe of the same name, but it is German, so it's actually called, and please forgive my pronunciation, Bauernflirstück. I'm also very excited to be preparing this recipe exactly as it is written in-game, with the exception of adding salt and pepper. I used Google Translate on the German description to convert it back to English and learned that the potatoes are supposed to be fried. The problem is that the potatoes in the thumbnail look large and chunky, which may be difficult to fry evenly. To compromise, I decided to fry the potatoes and then bake everything together in the same pan, which means minimal cleanup and maximal breakfast enjoyment. Starting with the potatoes, I'm using small ones so they cook quickly and evenly, but if you can't find small ones, just cut them in 1.5 inch or 4 centimeter pieces. After rinsing them, I'm patting them dry as thoroughly as I can. Water in a pan of hot oil will splatter a lot, so I do what I can to prevent that. Next, I'm slicing the bacon, and as you can see, it is so thick the packaging it came in said juicy across the back. Regular slices will work fine, of course, I just wanted to use something closer to what I imagine a farmer would be using. Here's my onion, and again, I'm cutting it to match the other ingredients. The goal is to make everything a similar size so they fit nicely on a fork. Ta-da! I preheated my pan for about 3 minutes before adding the oil, and then just when it starts to smoke, I add the potatoes. I had to fry them in 3 batches to make sure they each made good contact with the pan. Mmm, that looks good. My oven is preheated, so I turn off the burner and toss everything into the pan. Here's my brown potatoes, my bacon, and my onions. Give them a stir, and then this goes into the oven for about 20 minutes. Now it's time to add the eggs and season with salt and pepper. The bacon is salty enough to season the potatoes and the onions, so this is mainly for the eggs. How long you cook it from this point depends on how firm you want your eggs to be. After 5 minutes in the oven, they will be cooked but still soft, and after 10, they will be fully set. You could serve it in the pan, but I flipped mine over twice to get it into a serving platter. Lastly, I'm garnishing with parsley, and I'm ready to dig in. Over the past 10 months, you may have noticed that I like to demonstrate and explain why I do certain things instead of telling you what to do. I'd like to momentarily go against this philosophy to tell you that you should make this. I may be a little biased since breakfast foods are among my favorite, but truly, this is better than bacon bread, sky builder stew, it's even better than shakshuka. It's also perfect for new patch season, since this recipe will yield 4 or 5 servings, so you can have 2 days of food ready in under an hour. The description says this meal will fill you up before a day of tilling the fields, but it's perfect for a long day of prog and main scenario questing. I hope you are all enjoying the new patch content, and if you want to give this recipe a try, please check out the link to my website in the description below and in the card at the top of the screen. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week for another recipe and another episode. Until then, please enjoy this video of Kupo getting worked up over some tiny, insignificant noises just outside the front door.